from Ukraine to the Western Balkans. Countries are busy making reforms to qualify for EU membership. But the bloc needs to make its own internal changes before rolling out the welcome mat. Since last February, a new consensus has emerged in Brussels the European Union needs to grow. EU members who were once skeptical of enlargement agree that it is now time to start seriously considering welcoming hopeful countries such as Ukraine, Moldova and Western Balkan countries into the club. This change was triggered by Russia's large-scale invasion of Ukraine. Before that, loose plans for expansion were Brussels' favorite method, famously passed on from one administration to another. Meanwhile, candidate members such as North Macedonia, which has been an EU candidate since 2005, have jumped through a series of shape-shifting political and legal hoops. Get access without ever leaving the waiting room. As one EU diplomat put it enlargement is now reality. And it wasn't a year and half ago. But Brussels has its own homework to do if political compromise is to become a practical path. In order for you have a realistic conversation with the countries that will come. We need to understand what an enlarged EU will actually look like. And that's it so far. Said the diplomat. Who asked remain anonymous. DW. We know the questions. But we don't really know the answers. EU countries often engage in lengthy discussions to reach agreement on sanctions or budget issues European Union upsetting the balance of power making over 30 decisions but the meeting has started. Earlier this month, group of researchers commissioned by France and Germany unveiled a document full of ideas about the workings of and the path to larger union to Nguyen. A senior policy fellow at the Jacques Delors Center in Berlin was among them. He told DW that rethinking how the EU makes decisions could be very politically challenging. Georgia and Kosovo are also considered potential candidates. However, despite having 27 members, the bloc sometimes has difficulty taking action. Foreign policy moves such as imposing sanctions on Russia require unanimous support. This means negotiations can sometimes take months as member states decide which products to ban or whose assets to freeze. The EU banned most imports of Russian oil. But the sanctions package was difficult to reach agreement among member states and contained many exceptions. Dmitry Dadonkin TAS SIPA USAIMAGO changes in other policy areas, such as migration and asylum, require the support of a qualified majority of EU members. This means at least 15 states representing at least 65 the bloc's population. Last week, Limits of this political arithmetic were also revealed when Germany gave green light reforms to a new rulebook on migration crises. But heavyweight Italy quickly withdrew from agreement and gave green light a deadlock. Under current system, Ukraine, with a population of more than 40 million, will become one of the most po-